Mr. Chow, all my constituents care about and want to know. So when they log on, is their data, all their personal identifiable information, is that as secure as if they do online banking? It was designed, implemented, and I mean, that's a yes or no secure. question. It was designed, implemented, and tested to be secure. So it was fully tested in best practices under the Federal Government standard for IT proposals? Correct. The security it controls was? assessment testing conducted by, uh, by MITRE and another company. Okay. So it is fully tested as the other IT projects you have overseen uh, into that same standard? Um, I am trying to understand what you mean by fully tested. It was tested in accordance Fully with tested? Holy cow! This is like a new low. Uh, okay, then let me use the there, there are best practices are a complete integrated testing. Is that correct? It is tested and prescribed under the FISMA framework and NIST controls that are specified as a standard. Okay. So why did your office? Uh, well, then why did your boss resign? He didn't resign. Okay. So I mean, he, I think, due to I think security readiness to, issues. I think he decided to make a career change, which I, I can't I, speak to. I think it was a fantastic time to hightail it out after I, this great I rollout. So let me, let me ask another question. So Marilyn Tavener signed the Authority to Operate Memorandum. Traditionally, under uh, would your office sign a man memorandum? Or ha have you signed previous memorandums uh, on Authority to Operate? Myself, I have not. As, I, as your boss or previous boss? Not that I know of, but okay. I do not manage the uh, ATO sign-off process that is done between the Chief Information Officer and the Chief Information Security Officer. Okay. And they would traditionally do it, not uh, the CMS uh, administrator? I think you would have to ask them. Okay. Fantastic. We plan to do that. So um, let me ask you, Mr. Park, um, you said on USA Today on October 6, quote, these bugs were functions of volume. Take away the volume and it works, referring to healthcare.gov. Um, it was in the fourth paragraph. Um, do you still stand by that statement? Uh, thank you for the question. What I was specifically referring to. No, no. Do you still stand by? Uh, do you, well, uh, Mr. Chairman, I ask unanimous consent to submit this for the record. Have you seen this USA Today? W without objection, so ordered. Uh, and the question is on the statement, not yes. on what you would uh, want these, someone else to believe. These bugs today. were functions of volume. Take away the volume, and it works. Do you still stand by that? So I stand by the fact that the bugs that the reporter was referring to, which were issues users were experiencing account creation up front, were, in fact, uh, functions of volume. What I will say now, based on additional understanding, is that in addition to volume, which was a challenge, the account creation process was, we later on, uh, also uh, affected by particular functionality bugs, which have been fixed, uh, most of which have been fixed, uh, uh, along with volume ex uh, uh, capacity expansion and other so, Mr. Park, system me, configurations actually help me, handle Let me tell you a story. So. I have got, a, I've got a, a woman named Sue who logged on. She filled out everything else. She did not fill out her middle initial. She got a, a processing error. She went back to try to fix it, put in the middle initial. She had to wait 48 hours to get another update. Turns out that her income was not verifiable because she put in a monthly income. She calls a navigator. The navigator says, yeah, we have got some problems with that. Maybe you can do it on an annualized basis. Well, unfortunately, she couldn't get back into the system, so then has to call back for another navigator. And, and the navigator says, gosh, we have got, got a little issue here. So let me try an annualized income and put it in on the back side, uh, the back end that navigators can do. She's still waiting. She started on October 1st. She's still waiting to be successfully logged in uh, to this website that you said has a, uh, these bugs were functions of volume, take away the volume and it works. This is such a deeply flawed uh, data rollout. 
Uh, and my constituents are most concerned about trying to sign up, much less when they do sign up, that they don't have their data stolen. And so, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Right, thank you, Mr. Perk. You, you can answer.